Today I have another wood sign video for you. Today I'm going to show you how to use vinyl to create your wood sign. I'm going to walk you through this simple project step by step. We're going to talk about what machine to use, what vinyl to use, and what I think most importantly, how to get that vinyl from its mat to the sign uh, so there's no bubbles and it transfers perfectly. So we're going to talk all about that in this tutorial coming right up. Hey there, I'm Sarah. Welcome to Creative Ramblings where I share simple, inspiring projects. From easy crafts to seasonal home decor, you're going to find all kinds of tutorials right here with new videos every week. If that sounds like something you want to see, consider subscribing so you don't miss my next video. Today's project is sponsored by Cricut and I am so excited to show you how to use this cute little machine right here to create a large scale wood sign. So we are going to talk about how to use the Cricut Joy, which is a tool for crafters. I consider myself a crafter. I love this machine, but this is a great entry level machine for anybody who wants to get into crafting, but maybe doesn't have a craft room or doesn't want a craft room. This machine makes cuts in projects so simple and you can do it in 15 minutes. So we are going to use the Cricut Joy and some Smart Vinyl. Now, what I love about Smart Vinyl and the Cricut Joy is that you can cut on this without a mat. And this whole thing is run through an app on your phone. So I'm going to show you how to create a design on your phone, run the Smart Vinyl through the machine, cut your project, and then using some Smart Transfer Tape here, we're going to transfer it over to this wood sign. So the first thing you want to do is create your wood sign. So take a look at the video up above. That's going to walk you through how to build a sign like this. This is made just using common board from your hardware store. Uh, you cut it down, you put it together, and I painted this in a gray chalk paint, and I've let it dry for a full 24 hours. So this is nice and dry, and it's a great surface to now apply vinyl to. So now let's jump over to the Cricut Joy, and I'm going to show you how to create a design. So the Cricut Joy is completely run on the Cricut Design Space app. So you can download that and get started right away with your projects. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing on my phone and I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a design. So this is the home screen of the Cricut Design Space app and you can choose projects for your joy that are already created here like these beautiful cards that we have a card mat for uh, but I'm going to show you a project that I've already created. So I'm going to go up here to the My Projects tab and this is available for you to use. It is available down in the description of this video. But to do this, I just used a couple different types of fonts and a little flourish that's available through Cricut Access. I put them together and sized it appropriately. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like on the canvas. So here is our canvas. It looks just like Design Space does on the computer screen. Um, and I have sized my canvas to be 24 inches here because that is the width of the wood sign we're making. And the wood sign is about 14 inches wide, but here I've got this design to be just about 9 inches. The friends and family is in one font, the gather here is in another, and then these two leaves are extra elements. So I've got everything all laid out. Now I go down to the bottom here and hit this green make it button. Now. I'm using Smart Vinyl, so I don't need a mat for this here. And what's really cool is this is a continuous roll. So I can use two fingers here, and it's going to cut my whole family and friends gather here all on one continuous piece of vinyl. Really cool, really efficient. You don't have to mess with mats, especially if you've never used a Cricut or a cutting machine before. This makes your job a lot easier. So I can see how much I need. And then if I kind of just swipe over, this is gonna be my second cut. And I am going to cut these little flourish leaves here out of a gold smart vinyl. So we'll cut those second. So we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. And now I'm gonna connect my machine. So my machine is right here. It runs on Bluetooth. I've already got it programmed into my phone. I'm just gonna hit connect. And then we're good to go. It connects just like that. And now here, it's gonna cut these leaves first. This is the vinyl that I'm using for my leaves. It's this beautiful gold color right on the front here. 
And so I am gonna go in and choose all materials and then look at the vinyl section, which is this blue section right here. And I have smart vinyl and it's permanent. So I'm gonna select that one. And it tells me what tools I need. We're ready to load. All right, so there's no buttons on the Cricut Joy. There is just one power cord back here that plugs in. You flip it open and your Joy comes with the blade already loaded in. So all you have to do is open up your container of smart vinyl and it looks like this. The backing is here, the vinyl is here with kind of white on the sides of it. And it'll load automatically. So I'm gonna open that app back up and we were all ready to go here. We've got our little leaves or our flourishes already and it's telling me it's time to load. So all I need to do is take the vinyl and just feed it right in. It'll sense that the material's there. It'll run it through. And then my app is gonna tell me that I'm ready. I can just hit go and then the cut is gonna start. This is such a versatile tool to use. You can use it to create large scale wood signs like we're doing today, or you could customize labels in your pantry or for your kids back to school supplies. There's a lot of different options. And when you are done with the Cricut Joy, it comes in this great little carrying case. You can pop it back in and stick it on your shelf. You could leave it on your kitchen counter. You really don't need a large craft room or a large space to store this. One of my favorite aspects about the Cricut Joy. So we're gonna go through and get these leaves cut and then we're gonna follow the same process for those words using the black vinyl. All right, once it's done, I just get a little box that says we're ready. I go ahead and I hit unload and I've got my pieces all ready. So I'm gonna set this aside. We're gonna go ahead and cut those words. Now this is just black, glossy, smart vinyl. It's permanent. This is a 20 foot roll. So if you have the intentions of making a lot of signs or maybe labels or personalizing things, this is a great investment. All the links to the products that I'm using here, you can find down in the description. Now I have to say that if you've watched any of my other wood sign videos, um, I have been doing this for a while. I've been using Cricut Vinyl even before I used a Cricut. They make a really quality product. Um, the Smart Vinyl can only be used with the Cricut Joy, but all of their vinyl products are just kind of a cut above some of the other ones that are out there. So we're gonna follow the same process to cut the words. Because all of this is part of one project, we just come, it takes me right back to the screen where I had my words on that big long sheet. And again, I just select that smart vinyl and it tells me that I'm ready to go and I load it in. So we're gonna let that cut and I'm gonna come back and show you how to weed these and then transfer them from their vinyl backings to the wood sign. All right, so to weed our vinyl, we need a couple different tools. Um, this is a weeding tool, makes sense. It helps you pull out all the little pieces as you're weeding. It's also helpful to have a scissors available. Then when we're ready to transfer it, you're going to use a scraper tool and this transfer tape here. So. First things first, we're gonna weed our vinyl. Now there's two phrases on this. This front half says family and friends, and the second half says gather here. And these phrases are gonna go right on top of one another, so we need to cut that apart. So before I do any weeding, I am just going to cut around those two and separate them. So let me show you how to weed this. So I am a big believer that you should always save your vinyl scraps. So I am actually going to cut off the excess vinyl here that we're not using. Now this is smart vinyl and once I cut it, I can't use this scrap in my Joy, but I can use this little piece of vinyl on my Explore Air 2 or my Maker and go ahead and cut with that. So if you have another cutting machine, save your scraps. You're gonna, you're gonna use this eventually. So now with smart vinyl, it's got this little white band along the side and the vinyl peels up so easily from that edge. So all you have to do is start in a corner and then just start pulling. Cricut vinyl weeds incredibly well. If you've used vinyl before, um, you know how important it is to have vinyl that just peels up like this. 
If you've never crafted like this before, um, know that you're in luck when you're using this kind of vinyl. It, it's gonna make your job so much easier. Okay, so we have gather here, but you can see we've got um, the middles of our letters that still have pieces in them. So that's where your weeding tool comes in handy. You just pull on the edge and pull those middles right out. And there we go, now we're ready to transfer it. So we're gonna follow that same process for the family and friends portion, and then those gold leaves that we cut out as well. All right, all of our pieces are weeded and we've got our wood sign ready to go. So the first thing that I like to do is kind of line these up. Just make sure that I have everything that I want on my wood sign here. We've got family and friends, gather here, and we're gonna put these gold pieces right here. So just literally just kind of a dry run. Yes, it all fits. I've got all the right pieces. I have everything I need. So now we can use our transfer tape here to actually put the pieces on the sign. So transfer tape works as just a medium to take your vinyl and move it from one place to another. So I am gonna cut a piece long enough to cover my words. Then I'm gonna start to pull up the transfer tape on one end here. Not all the way, just a little bit. And I'm going to apply it to one end of my vinyl. Okay, and then once I've got it applied on this one end here, I can start pulling the backing off and pushing the transfer tape all the way down. I like doing it this way because then I don't get any bubbles in here and I've got a nice clean fit. The transfer tape has lines on it too, so I can help line everything up. So from here, I'm going to take my scraper tool and just really push that transfer tape down onto those vinyl letters. Now I'm gonna go and push down on the back of the vinyl as well to make sure everything sticks. And then I can pull up the backing, and there's a little trick here, so I can pull up this backing and go, oh, look, that S is still actually sticking to my vinyl. I need to push a little bit more. So don't be afraid that you're gonna hurt anything here. Really push down, burnish that, make them stick together so that when you pull it, all the letters are stuck to the transfer tape. And once we've pushed hard enough, you can pull that vinyl backing off and all your letters are right there on the transfer tape. So we can discard this backing here and we have our friends and family ready to go. So right now it's sticky side up. I'm gonna leave it right there while I pull my sign in here. And I kind of had lined it up earlier so I know I want it just above the middle line. Gently pull this up and loosely place it on here. And what I what, what that's gonna do for me is that if I loosely place it on here, I can still move it around until I get that perfect placement. The lines on the transfer tape really help get everything lined up perfectly. So you're gonna look like you have a professional custom sign that you made. Okay, so we are centered. I know it's upside down to you, but we are centered, ready to go. Let's flip it around so you can see it. So it's really just loosely on there. So I'm gonna start by just pushing it down with my hands. Then I'm gonna take my scraper tool again and do the same thing. Now we're pushing this down so that the vinyl goes onto the wood and comes off the transfer tape. Okay, so we pushed everything down and now we just pull up the transfer tape and instead of pulling it straight up, I'm gonna kind of fold it back like this and just pull like this. It seems to help it stick much better. But look how beautiful those letters look on that gray chalk paint. We're just gonna pull this all the way across. How gorgeous is that? So we're gonna do the same thing for the words gather here. All right, we've got our gather here all ready to go. 
Now it is time to put on these little gold flourishes. So I have a piece of transfer tape here that I use to put the gather here message on. I can reuse that. I am just gonna cut it down a little bit to match the size of my flourish or my leaf. And then we can just use that same transfer tape for this. So same process here, burnish it really well on both sides. And then we're gonna peel it off to reveal the piece attached to the transfer tape. Okay, so I have this on the transfer tape. I am going to do, before I put that on the sign, I am gonna do the same thing with this other leaf, just so I can line them up at the same time and I know that they're in the exact right place. All right, so I've got both of my leaves on the transfer tape here. Bring the sign back over. And now they're sticky side up on here right now. I'm gonna take them and just real gently place them on here. And then once they're on, I can kind of play around with their placement. All right, so we've got everything I think where I want it. Now we can start to push these down. Push them onto that wood really good. Now, this wood is kind of a rustic wood. It's got some cracks in it. It's got some pieces in it. It, it makes it a little bit harder to get a really good stick. You just gotta be careful when you're pulling it up. And then you can come back and you can push this down with your finger to get into those crevices. But it pulls up beautifully. All right, there we go. So the last step here is to Take that scraper tool one more time and just go over everything. Now, you wanna be careful you don't scratch the paint at all because there's no transfer tape or anything between your scraper and the paint. But we really just wanna make sure that everything is on here really good. This is permanent vinyl, it is not going anywhere. So there's no need to seal a sign like this. Because the paint is just chalk paint though, this is definitely not a sign that can go into the elements, but it's an indoor sign that is gonna hold up really well. All right, so we just made a large scale wood sign start to finish using the Cricut Joy. This is a really simple project and just a great way to showcase what this tiny little machine can do. Grab yourself some smart vinyl, a little Cricut Joy, and a few of the other tools and such that I used for this. You can find links to that down in the description of this video. But with two little items like this, you can make a large scale sign for your home. These make great gifts too. Um, you can also make smaller projects. So you can label things, you can make uh, back to school supplies, or maybe you can label a coffee mug or a tumbler. There are so many possibilities to use the Cricut Joy. If you want to learn more about wood signs, be sure to watch my full wood sign series. I show you how to build these signs, uh, different options for stenciling them, where you can use your larger cutting machine, larger than the Joy, to make uh, stencils. And I talk about a number of different ways to seal wood signs as well. So I hope you found this helpful. Let me know down in the comments if you had a Cricut Joy, what would your first project be? Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, consider subscribing so you don't miss my next one. Bye-bye.